Okay, now we're on to the making the code for the machine. So we have two operations done. So I'm going to pick up one flipped over again. And make sure that this is highlighted. If you this is highlighted, you're only going to get that tool. So we want to have this highlighted so it's, it's, it's grabbing all these this everything in operation one. And now it says right up here, G1, post process. So I'm going to click on that. And we're going to actually work out of the uh, po uh, the cloud post. So if you're in your settings right here, it says preferences. And you should have had enable cloud library. So that's where you're getting your tools and where you're getting your post process file. So this is machine specific now. So if you have a, uh, a Doosan... Uh, Fanic controlled machine, then that's going to be the code for that machine. If you have a Haas mini mill, that'll be the code for that. Even though they they might be similar, but this will be exact. So now we're going to go G1, and right up here, I, I was I'm not lined up because right this is all this is the ones that they install here. So we're going to change the setup to use cloud posts. And now you have a, a limited selection, and you'll and you'll only have one. So we're going to use the STC Classic right there. And right here we got program number and name. So you don't need to fill this out. If you don't, you're going to end up with either blank or whatever was in the previous operation. All right, so I'm going to hit post, and then you're going to put this in your USB. So right now it's trying to find it in your machines, uh, a file in your machine. So if you have a USB, like let me install this one. I'll put it in my USB for my computer. Okay. All right, USB 1001. There's no need to rename this. If you, so it's going to be labeled as 1001. Save. And you want this review file to come up. Because you want to make sure that, number one, the tools have been renumbered or you have all the tools. Right here is your tool list. And things like, am I, do I have the G55 code in place? Do I have it labeled correctly? It's got my name up here. And this has a label that has our school machine. And we actually have it set up so we have a timestamp, date and time. So when they get out to the machine, I can tell this is my, my G code. All right, so now I take my USB, I go out to the machine, I cut the material per the setup sheet. Remember, it's 4.1 long, so we won't want to be 4. That's too short. 4.1 plus. So 4.1 to 4.2 would be a good uh, cut. The other material is, is the shape of the of the bar, you know, the one by two section. We're gonna mount it in the vise, we're gonna set it up so we find this corner right here of the material. And depending on how you set it up, we actually do the shift per setup sheet. So we shift it in in the X and Y direction and the Z, because our model's inside the material. And then we run it, you know, we'll run it in the graphics simulation on the machine. And we'll put the work offset two inches up in the air, shifted in the Z direction so the tools will run in the air. And we'll make sure that everything looks correct and then we'll bring it down to actual cut chip level. And we're going to single block the approach and we're ready to go. Then we will let it cut metal. And that's pretty much it. So... And then we'll go on to operation two, which will be in this orientation. So we're going to have it in this orientation and get our X, Y, and Z coordinates and machine the back off and finished. Later on, we'll get into engraving your name on the back or any designs. And we'll just do right now, we'll do engrave. But for now, in our school, we're using the G47 code that's built into the Haas machines. It'll do engraving. So that's a pretty simple way of adding engraving. After that, we're going to add it in through Fusion. We'll do that on the 2M. So I'll talk to you all later.